Welcome to Creepy Chips Horror Show! With special guest, Slipwick the Skeleton. It's not my fault the babes like me, man. <laughs> also, whoa! Don't forget about your legendary loser host himself, Creepy Joe! Welcome to Creepy Joe's Horror Show. Tonight we have Intruder from 1989. Intruder from 1989 is about an overstock crew of the local supermarket that find themselves being stalked and slashed by a mysterious maniac. Alright, so Intruder, 1989, uh, directed by Scott Spiegel. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of him before. But uh, starring, now wait for this lineup, Sam Raimi, who plays Randy, uh, Ted Raimi, who plays Joe, he's always in the back of the store, and then Elizabeth Cox is Jennifer. Renee Estevez, I think, yeah, plays Linda. And then Eugene Robert Glazer plays Dan. And then Dan Hicks plays Bill. And, uh, you know, I don't worry, I'm not going to leave out for those of you who love this movie. Uh, yes, Bruce Campbell is in it. Is, is an officer, uh, Officer Howard, for about 10 seconds. <laughs> and, you know, I've seen movie, I've seen this movie being advertised starring Bruce Campbell, which always cracks me up because, you know, he was a popular guy he, and he still is to this day. I mean, he's, he has a cult following, so if he's in the movie, you know, it's going to get other fans to watch it, even way back then. Uh, because of Evil Dead, obviously. So. Oh, no! No! Oh, 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 ah! All right. I don't even know where to start with this one. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I mean, I just watched this. I've seen it a couple times, but not lately. And you know, I watch so many horror movies that you know I kind of get some of them mixed up. But uh, this this entire horror movie takes place in a grocery store. Good evening, Walnut Lake, sir. So, this is like, I don't, I assume that there's other horror movies that take place in grocery stores. I've seen a lot of, you know, horror movies where there are grocery stores in it, but like, not like fully, you know, like the entire movie. So, because, you know, you have movies like Chopping Mall that takes place all in a mall. Same with like, Day of the but anyway, I'll get too far off topic. So, Jennifer, one of the cashiers, her boyfriend, and not it's not her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend, someone she dated like a year prior to that, who you find out later killed somebody and he was in jail uh, for like losing his temper and beating someone to death or something. Uh, he comes in and he's like, I want to talk to you. And he's real violent and calm confrontational isn't satisfied no and then like everybody in the store gets in on basically getting him out of there and, and like restraining him pretty much and so you're like oh man then he's outside like creeping around so right away you're like okay this dude's gonna like start killing everybody because he killed him. he's obsessed with her he's like you know ridiculously I mean, clearly the cops come and everything, and the dude's still like creeping around. So like he's, you think he's like a, a sicko, which he he looks like he is. He he pretty much is. And then the murders start happening. <laughs> they announce the the two bosses announce that they're selling the place, and they only have like two weeks or something left to work or next week. And uh, murders start happening, and these murders are awesome. I mean. These are some of the best kills in, you know, recent movies that I've seen. I mean, there, there's been some decent ones, but uh, there, there's, like, every single one of the kills in this movie, and one stands out more than any, which we'll get 
to, but uh, yes, very good kills. They're very brutal and they're very uh, you know over the top. And so you think that this guy creeping around outside is picking everybody off because like he shows up in the strangest places. He's like watching, but uh, it turns out that he's not the murderer. And you know, really, it's one of the store owners because he's upset that they're selling it. So. <laughs> I'm just crazy about this store. He decided he's gonna kill everybody and then blame it on the psycho guy, the psycho ex-boyfriend that's creeping around. So that's the plan. But uh, and that just spoiled the entire movie. But it is what it is. You guys know what you're in for when you click on <laughs> these videos. I, I spoil everything and ruin everything. Uh, but it's just my opinion on on what I saw last night. And. I have to say that this is a really strong movie. I, don't, I can't really think of anything that sucked about it or that I'd say, man, that was really terrible. It has humor, it's extremely cheesy, and the kills are over the top. And it has great actors in it. You know, Sam Raimi playing Randy, which I think his brother Ted stands out more playing Joe in the back because he just has his headphones on and he's, you know, which he gets murdered too and hung on a hook through his face. <laughs> Basically, but uh, yeah, they all they all get murdered, and then at the end, the creepy boyfriend sneaks sneaks in and stops the the work the the owner from murdering Jennifer. So he actually saves her life. <laughs> Then they basically kill him inside of a phone booth. And then the cops show up. That's Bruce Campbell's 30 seconds in the movie. And they arrest the girl, Jennifer, and the creepy guy, her boyfriend, who I, I want to say that's Dan, but I, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Probably wrong about that. But uh, yeah, he. They, they start arresting them, and they're overly excessive, like Bruce Campbell like beats the shit out of them, like, so is the other officer, who I don't know who that is, but they, they're excessive, and uh, Bill hangs, hangs on to life just for like two more seconds to like kind of say like, they did, they murdered everybody, and then he dies, so like, it's all pinned on them at the end, and that's the end of the movie. <laughs> I rate this a solid four out of five. Uh, it's this one is really good. You know, compared to a lot of the ones I've seen, this this is a good one on Tubi, and uh, I, I just highly recommend it. Uh, if you like cool movies, then you, you'll like this one because it is very far from sucking. You're crazy. But great movie, and I highly recommend it. Uh, I actually am downplaying it. Like it's better than how I'm explaining it. It's a real. It's it's awesome. It's probably one of the better ones I'd say that I've seen on Tubi. And you know, it's a classic. Like most people know about this movie. If you're into horror, uh, it's it's a pretty known movie. You know, because of the people that are in it and stuff. But you know, it's always worth refreshing. I know a lot of people, especially the newer generation. I, I'm thinking of people my age that would know. But like. You know, the newer generation that aren't necessarily into this type of, this genre is, you know, they're not going to know what the hell Intruder is from 1989. They're not even going to know who Bruce Campbell is. So, I mean, you know, check it out. It's free on Tubi. Every movie that I'm going to do this October, you know, it's every single night now. I'm kind of getting burnt out, but I'm going to continue on. Uh, but every single movie, you can literally watch it after you see this opinion on it for free on Tubi as long as you have a connection. Go to the damn library and watch it on your phone. All you need is the app, and you know, I'm not getting paid. I, I have to add that in. I'm not getting paid, and I have to repeat it every episode because I know that a lot of you aren't going to be following all 31 episodes of my October series. So, you know, if you're a first time you know, viewer, check it out. But thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, and stay creepy.